Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making some buffalo cauliflower, so let's get to it. Here we have our big old head of cauliflower. I was just going to make half of this because I'm only making it for myself. So I'm just going to cut the cauliflower in half. And then once you do that, just want to remove the core and peel off the leaves. Here it's up to you, you can either cut the cauliflower into bite-sized pieces or you can do what I did and just rip it into little tiny bite-sized pieces, totally up to you. Okay, now that that's done, moving on to our batter. This is a quarter cup of rice flour, a quarter cup of tapioca starch, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and now for our seasonings, we have a teaspoon of paprika. I like it hot, so I also put in a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of some chili flakes. Now we just mix that all around. And I'm just adding in some salt here. Don't forget to add salt. And here we have a little bit of plant milk of your choice. I'm using some cashew milk. Now, don't do what I did and put in all of this milk because um, I ended up with a watery batter and you do really want that. Now I noticed it was still watery so I'm just gonna add some cornstarch here and combine, try and get rid of any clumps. Now that that's done, you can start battering up your little cauliflower nibs. You can be dainty with a fork like I am here. I got bored of that, so I just started using my hands. <laughs> Pretty much just make sure that all your cauliflower is nicely coated. And what you want to do is put a little spray on your tin or whatever you have going on and transfer your cauliflower to that. Now another mistake that I'm doing here is that I'm pretty much crowding my pan of cauliflower here. In an air fryer you don't really want to do that because otherwise it won't cook properly. And here we are, I'm also adding in both of them at the same time. That also didn't result in very well. Anyways, once we have that in the air fryer, we're just going to start working on our sauce. And we have a tablespoon or so of vegan margarine. And just going to let that melt down. And after that, I wanted a garlic taste, so I'm adding in a tablespoon of some minced garlic. Just gonna let those flavors mingle for a little bit, and once you're done with that, you have a 3 4 cup of Frank's hot sauce. And once you add in that, you just want to let those simmer down until they form a nice thick sauce. Ok, 
Okay, it looks like the top layer is getting cooked. And now that our sauce is done, we take that out. And we're just gonna pop our cauliflower into our sauce. Now we're mixing, making sure that the cauliflower is nice and coated. And then we're just gonna pop that back into the air fryer for about another 10 minutes. So here I noticed that the bottom layer wasn't cooking, so I just added in the top layer and we'll let that cook again. And here we go, big reveal. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Just gonna plate this up. Here we go. Super fast plating time. Now you can garnish it with whatever you like. I just had some sesame seeds sitting here, a little bit of parsley, and let's walk over to the window. So I made some mistakes here, but in the end, it turned out really good. The cauliflower was well cooked, uh, the inside was still very crunchy, and the spice level was exactly where I wanted it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Here's a little clip of me and my happy hands. <laughs>